Hi guys, welcome to Photon Photography. <laughs> Always spelling mistakes. Okay, now let's get into the Photoshop and do something while paint. Okay, have you seen this picture? I have posted that on you, not on YouTube. Sorry, on my Facebook page. Photon Photography or Creative Arts Photography is my original thing, but my for I mean my YouTube is. Photography. So you can check out this oil paint picture. That's pretty cool, right? Everything is perfect. It look like animated thing. So check out the original ones. This is the original. Sorry, and it's morphed. Version morphed. Version morphed. Very different, right? Version morphed. Version morphed. <laughs> so. Now, how to make it? Let's get into the tutorial. So, we are in the Photoshop, and uh, we need to open up the Emma Watson picture. So, import the picture. So, I have I'm using the Photoshop CC, so I don't have the oil paint. So here, I just got the gray storation file. That's the link in the description. You can check out that if you want to how to install it. There's another link in the description to know how to install that so gray storation uh at default one but i don't need default just in the defaults and one 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 that's the thing and use it for that check out as windows boom good one huh I click OK and it will remove noise. Actually, it not remove noise. It just make it perfect. Okay. Now it takes time, so I'll just pause and I will get back after the noise because you can see the resolution of the picture is very high. I mean, the, the clarity. I mean, so so let's get down. So the render completes now. You can see still there is some of the difference in the picture. That is the hair. You can see that you got the the webs and every single part is very neat and clean. But we need the main parts hair. So let's get into the hair. How to make hair? Just get down. You can see this finger too. Or uh, mostly the blood tool here. Just catch it down. And you get this much tool now. Right leg and this 39 here. And this you can increase the size. Or drag it. It takes a long time, so just skip that thing. So make it pretty smaller. Not pretty smaller. <laughs> so make it very dull. It's small and smudge it every single hair. Sorry, so it mostly looks pretty blurish and animated thing, right? It's just like a polishing <laughs> polish. Every single frame should be resolved. So, almost completed. Now it's done almost not perfectly. And now the oiling effect has been completed. So now uh, a small mistake he is not the mummy. Let's say it's inhabitating. So now 
make a new layer of the background and uh, I like the blue so blue go to gradient and make sure the back is black color and what here and oh sorry make sure you're on the dot I mean the brown one and that's here and now lighting boom you got that and now like something dragon and now making another copy of the background and select the red tool and get a gradient and just go here till here you get this one and light of it god boom 100% sure that's perfect and now my particular logo that's a very very important one so just get the logo here's my logo just drag it in you can check that it's very small at this part so give it a corner and just drag it larger than that so that can be recognized so now that's perfect and boom the picture is perfect and just control s to save the picture and everything is gonna be cool now the result the final result is control s to save it out uh, like to make it uh, mr2 and just jpeg save it off and make sure it's maximum it should be tall and space line so it's done and I can take out the mr2 and mr1 that I have done they are practically same oh some mistakes are like this one oh mr2 is perfect than mr1 the hair only the hair problem but still MR2 looks perfect but okay that's not it <laughs> so original morphed original morphed original morphed and uh, thanks for watching this video like subscribe and share oh wait a minute subscribe please <laughs> and YouTube okay bye bye thanks for watching this video boom